Hey everyone, this is Abhilash here again from Selenium Express and today in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to create an object in Java by using the new instance method of constructor class. So let's see it in a brief. So guys, as you know, in this series of tutorial, we're covering in how many ways we can create an object in Java. And in that perspective, it's gonna be our way number three, where we're gonna create an object by using the constructor class new instance method. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's talk about it in a brief. All right guys, so if you watched my last tutorial, where I covered how to create an object using the new instance method of class class, uh, you probably thinking well I, I know that there is a method called new instance inside the class class but what about the constructor class is there actually a class called constructor exist in Java yes there is a class called constructor which exists inside the java.lang.reflect package and inside the constructor class we have a method called new instance and using this new instance method also we can create an object in Java and that's the first thing that you need to remember so we have a method called new instance inside the class class and we have a method called new instance inside the constructor class also and using both these methods we actually can create an object in java all right but now let's talk about the differences so what's the difference between new instance method of class class and the new instance method of constructor class they both look similar and uh, they also do a similar kind of job that is uh, that is creating an object uh, but what's the differences? There are, is there any differences in between them? Yes, guys, there are a lot of differences in between uh, these two methods. So let me cover that one by one for you guys. All right, so the first difference between the class class new instance method and the constructor class new instance method is the class class new instance method is always look for a constructor which is public and default. So it's always going to look for a default constructor and it's going to invoke that. But the constructor class new instance method can actually invoke any parameterized constructor. I mean, this, regardless of the parameter, it may be one parameter or two parameter or three parameter or any parameters constructor, it can invoke if you are going to give it a command. All right. So the difference number two. So the class class new instance method is always look for a constructor which is visible. But the constructor class new instance method can also invoke a constructor which is private in certain scenario. So that's the very important thing and you need to keep that in mind. All right, so the last difference is the class class new instance method when it is invoking a constructor and the constructor is throwing you some exceptions Either it's checked exception or it is unchecked exception though the class class new instance method is going to throw all the exceptions to you all right but what about the constructor class new instance method so when you are using the constructor class new instance method to create an object and while this method is calling your constructors and your constructor is throwing you a lot of exceptions what it's going to do is going to wrap all your exceptions into a single exception and that exception name is invocation target exception so this is the last and the final difference between the class class new instance method and the constructor class new instance method so now i hope you have a clear picture in your mind all right so those are all the differences but guys, before i go ahead and start coding i just want to tell you something all right so when you create an object in java by using the class class new instance method this internally calls the constructor class new instance method to create an object so always in Java, the constructor class new instance method is preferred over the class class new instance method when it comes to creating an object in Java. All right. All right. All right. So if you talk about all the modern frameworks like Spring, Stars, or Hibernate, when they create objects for you. Internally, they are using the constructor class new instance method to create an object. You know that your frameworks is going to create an object for you and, and they'll hand over the object to you and later you're going to use that object. But how they're creating this object? By using the constructor class new instance method. All right. 
So this way of object creation is called reflective way of object creation in Java. All right. All right. So now let's dive into Eclipse and let's create some object using the constructor class new instance method, what they call the reflective way to create an object. All right. So let's go ahead and do it. So here we go. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to put a CSR over here and I'll put some stars over here to separate my previous code. And the next thing I'm going to do that I'm going to write some comments over here really, really quick. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to load my class over here, which is student. So I'll write student dot class and I'm going to get the get constructor method over here. Write one over here and I'll have a semicolon and I'm going to save it to a constructor type. So I'll write constructor over here and I'm going to choose the first one which comes from Java dot lang dot reflect. So I'm going to choose this one and I'll write the generic type as student because I want to face the student type of data and I want to give a reference as constructor and I'll do, I'll just give it equal. Well, there is an error over here. I don't know why. Well, get constructors. It's not get constructors, it's get constructor. All right. So sorry about that. So right now, this is going to throw you some exception. And again, I want to add all these exceptions to my, to my main method. All right. So let me uh, click the first one over here. And there we go. So I'm, I'm going to have a line break here. I'm going to put enter and there we go. This looks good. Let's come back over here. The exception is gone. So now I got my constructor object over here. And from the constructor object, I'm going to create my object just like this constructor dot new instance. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a semicolon over here. And now again, it's going to throw some exception. I am going to, um, I'm going to throw it uh, with my method which is man method and there, there, there's the exception over here and let me come down and let me handle this written type. Okay. So the constructor that new instance method is going to return to me a student object. So I'm going to hold it with a student reference. So there we go. Let me call it S3 and I'll, I'll just give it equals over here and there we go. And there we go. So our object is created and I hold it inside a reference called S3. All right. So now let's quickly print this out. So to print out, I'm going to have a sysout over here. So I'll, I'll say sysout and I'll print S3. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call, uh, sorry, I'm going to set the student class property by S3 dot college ID. And I'm going to set it to some somewhere 600. All right. So my college ID is right now set. So if I want to call it, so I'll have a CSR again. And I'll have a control space and I'll write uh, call S3 dot college ID. All right. And it's done. There we go. So this is how we can create a object by using the constructor class new instance. So now let's go ahead and run this application. OK. And there we go. So the first line confirms again that it calls the default constructor. Okay, so the constructor is getting called first so that I'm getting the student class constructor here. And then uh, my student class object uh, reference is printed over here. This, uh, this is the address actually. And the next line confirms that the student call is ID is set to 600. So this is the way to create an instance by using the constructor class new instance method.